Hi everyone, I'm Travis Gregg from Indiana University's Department of Recording Arts. I'm here to show you how to install a 2D card into your Metric Halo Mobile I.O. 2882. It's a pretty easy process, but still, take your time, we'll get it done. Let's get started. Your 2D upgrade kit shipped with the 2D card, of course, a new ADAT I.O., some little sticky feet which will slide underneath the master board, we'll talk about those, a 764th hex wrench in case you didn't have one, and a cool new sticker for the front panel. A little audio bling, very important, right? Now the only thing you'll need to make this install happen is a Phillips screwdriver and of course the Mobile IO2882. Can't do much without that. Let's dive in and do it. We're going to be taking the screws off the side panels, both front and back. Those are the long screws and we want to keep those separate from the short screws, which are the ones on the top panel, both front and back. These are shorter we don't want to put long screws into these holes because we'll end up breaking some of the boards inside. Also on the back panel there are some Phillips screws that hold on the digital I.O. that we'll be taking out. Now we are opening up an electronic device so static discharge is a possibility. Make sure you ground yourself and try not to do this on your 70s shag carpet or something. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, lots of screws. Those metric cable guys, they're building a robust box that we can take on the road and not destroy it. So, now we can slide off these side panels, set those aside, and of course the top panel just comes off, we'll set that aside as well. So we have the analog I.O., luckily we don't have to play with that, and then we have the digital I.O., which is also the master board. Between those two we have a bridge board, we're going to have to take that off, and our 2D card is going to be basically replacing that, sitting on top connecting with these multi-pin connectors and all four that are underneath there. We're also going to be pulling off this ADAT I.O. and replacing that. So let's go ahead and get this bridge board off of here. Uh, if you look at it really closely, there is some silicon gel that's kind of gluing it together. You can just use your fingernail just to pry it off there just a little bit, make it a little easier for you to get it off. If there's a whole bunch, you can, you can even peel some of it off. That's really for, uh, again, making something robust. Uh, if you're going to be bouncing this around in a truck, you might want to replace that. So we'll pull that off. Pull them straight up and try not to bend the pins. Might take a little more force than you're used to, but a little bit like a, like a PCI card, right? Set that aside. We don't need that anymore. We'll pull off this ADAT I.O. Again, just kind of pull it straight up and out. Like that. Again, we're replacing that, so we don't need that anymore. I'd hang on to those just in case you uh, have to downgrade or something. So we're going we're gonna to pull this master I.O. out. First we'll pull off this ribbon cable for our meters. Just pull straight up. Again, just kind of get it out of the way. That's easy to do, right? And uh, now, if you look really closely, there are some PEDs, little metal clips, that are attaching the master board to the back panel. We need to pop those out. We're going to pull this whole cart upward towards us just by sliding our hand underneath and those will pop off. might take a little bit of force, but be gentle yet still forceful, right? And we'll just pop right out and there's another one over here. Pop right out and again just slide your hand underneath it and just lift gently and it pops right off that PED. So pulling up at an angle to get past the AES clip we will just slide this whole board out. Now. Like I said, we're going to be putting our 2D card onto these connectors, which means we're going to be pushing down on this. We want to put some feet underneath these connectors on the back panel so that we can apply force without breaking this card. So let's just set this aside somewhere we can see it and get our feet in place. So we're going to take one foot, put it underneath somewhere where that's going to be. We're going to approximate it right in there. And we're going to put them under two underneath these connectors Again, just approximate them somewhere in here, give us something to push on. And then one underneath that connector, again, we'll just approximate that right around in there somewhere. Right, so now we have our feet in place. We can 
slide the master board back in. Now, you slide it in, make sure you get the AES clip underneath and through the hole first. And same with all the connectors, just make sure they go through the hole, right? And while you have it up at an angle, go ahead and slide it past that first PED that's way down there at the bottom, right? So slide it all the way past that up, that, up, up at that angle. It'll help out. Once you get it onto the PED, we can just push it down all the way until it clicks onto there. And then we'll do the last two back here. Again, just so it clicks onto there, like that. So, fully reinstalled, seated with our cool little feet underneath it. We can reattach our meter cable so we don't forget about it. And then grab our 2D card and we'll install that. So here's our 2D card. It's got on the back side of it the ADAT I.O. which will go into our female pins on the master I.O. And then it's got all these multi-pin connectors that are going to be again lining up with those pins. So slide it into place really gently and we'll just get it lined up first. Make sure all the pins line up. So get a look at this. You can see here that we're just lining up making sure the first hole goes in the first hole. And same over here. A little harder to see on the video but you can see it in real life and make sure it all lines up. Just give it a good look. Make sure everything's okay. And then we'll just go ahead and give it a nice solid push on those connectors. Try to make sure it goes straight down and kind of alternate which connector you're pushing on until it's seated all the way. There we go. It's seated all the way on there. Very nice, right? Really not too hard. Might take a little more force than you're used to again. Just be gentle yet forceful. Now we'll put on our ADAT IO. Ribbon cable goes onto the four pin connector right there. Just slide it in again. Make sure that the pins line up properly. And we'll approximate what the holes are. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the screw for the ADAT connector in. Make sure it all lines up. And same with all the digital IO, just so we can get them lined up. Now we can put the panels back on. With the top panel, there is a cutout on the very edge here. You want to make sure that that's going to the back. It goes over the quarter inch connectors. Uh, if you have this turned around, it won't quite fit right and you'll be wondering why. So just make sure that goes to the back. Get all lined up here. And now we can slide on our side panels. Again, the side panels have some screw holes that are for the uh, uh, rack ears. And those will, of course, go to the front of the unit. Now, in putting on the screws, we want to make sure we get the long screws on the side panels, like we said at the start, and of course the short screws on the top panel. I'm going to start with the long screws just to make sure that I have everything lined up right, and so I don't get them confused. Well, there you go. You have a 2D expanded 2882. The only thing left to do is to take off this old sticker here. We don't need that anymore. And we'll replace it with our cool new 2D expanded sticker. We'll just slide it right into place there. Make sure it's kind of straight. Oh, hey, get back on there. There we go. Okay, but we don't want to throw this away. I mean, this is still pretty cool, right? Where can we put this? Let's see. Oh, that there we go. Let's put it on this, right? It's no longer an RCA mic, old ribbon mic. This is now a cool new metric halo ribbon mic. 
I'm gonna have to talk to them about making one of those, huh? There we go. Really confuse somebody later. So there you go. You have a 2D expanded mobile IO 2882. Go to Metric Halo's website and download the software. Upgrade the firmware. You'll be amazed at all the new features and power that you have and mix and master all your audio. Again, I'm Travis Gregg from Indiana University's Department of Recording Arts. Till next time.